Welcome back, Portal Masters. SCL Matt here with another live unboxing video. And this is, as the title says, the largest lot of Skylanders that I have ever purchased. So this is going to be exciting. I do know basically what's supposed to be in here. It is a collection that I bought off a fellow Skylanders fan collector. Um, and I mean, they just, it was tough for them to let it go, but they also knew it was time to let it go. And so we are all going to benefit from this collection. Let's put it that way. Welcome to the chat, Ethan. Glad you can make it here. Um, but yes, this is what it is. It's it's a huge collection. So I don't think there are going to be any doubles as far as I know. Um at least not from from the the list that I've seen. Um, I, I haven't actually seen pictures of everything because this is such a large lot. Um, so that's why we're going through it. I, I have my list here on the side of kind of what's supposed to be in it. Um, so this, th I mean, this unboxing is already going to take longer than anything I've ever done just because of how big it is. And then I'm going to kind of be trying to check things off as I go along, make sure everything's there. So please bear with me. But Fitzo HD, welcome to the to the chat over there. Um, but like I said, this is going to take a while, so I, I'm going to have to try to find places to place everything on my table here. It, it's it's going to be wild, but we're going to get started. I know most of this is going to be off camera for you guys, but I'll bring things on camera as as I can. All right. So on top of the box, lots of paper towels. Not your typical uh, packing material, but as I like to do, I, I, I kind of evaluate packing as I go along here. This was a good move. Anything you can use to fill empty space in a box is going to help. You don't want the, the one of the last things you want is stuff shifting around in the box as as it's being shipped. So anything you can do in that regard is going to help out. All right, looks like we have stuff in bags here. Uh, well, some of it, not all of it, but we'll we'll grab this first bag and get started. Yeah, this is super exciting. Rose of Death is still lurking. Welcome to the show. Vangelis, Mr. Boo, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, first thing we have, uh, Griffin Park Observatory, that's what it's called. And we have another level piece, Nightmare Express. So that may be what this entire bag is, it looks like. Uh, yes, we have the Mirror of Mystery. And we have the Sea Trophy from Skylanders Superchargers. Had three of those trophies. I don't know if I have all of them in here, but we'll find out. Uh, we have the Rocket Ram. One of the magic items, along with the Platinum Treasure Chest, which many of you know, the Platinum Treasure Chest doesn't actually do anything because um, someone screwed up. The Platinum Treasure Chest just reads as the Hidden Treasure Chest. So that's not going <laughs> to do me much good there, but it is what it is. Uh, but we do have the Midnight Museum. Always nice to see that there. Hopefully we can find some other pieces of it. Uh, Vangelis, th this is a, a, a private sale. Um, someone contacted me and uh, they were looking to get rid of their collection. And so um, this is something I, I did privately off of everything. It's, it, it's not eBay. It's not Facebook Marketplace or anything. It, it was just someone uh, that got a hold of me. So... Airship, you haven't missed uh, uh, too much yet. We, we just started, found a couple of level pieces, including the Enchanted Elven Forest. Uh, the biggest piece was probably the Midnight Museum there, but we have quite a few of the, the level pieces, uh, the newer level pieces, actually. All right. So we'll start grabbing some more here. We have Turbo Jet, or, yeah, Turbo. 
no, this isn't turbo jetpack. Uh, trap team version is full blast jetpack. There we go. Full blast jetpack. And kaboom. That's a trap master we haven't seen in. I, I don't think I've picked him up in a lot recently. So. <laughs> no, Vangelis, you're, you're fine. You're fine. You're all good. If I get a royal double trouble and a lot hit you up, okay, I I will let you know. Uh, we'll we'll find out together as long as you hang out. Got a few more here, not in bags. So we have a steel plated smash hit. Once again, I I still think these steel plated figures are one of the worst bait and switch figures. I I loved how the original um, renderings showed up uh but then they gave us this ugly ugly green color if you ask me like green is my favorite color but i do not like that green it, I, I don't think it works and i don't know why they decided to use it but or who, who approved it rather um wax of repos i how much did i get th th this is a giant collection it is 30 pounds worth of Skylanders. It is awesome. It's, it's going to be really good. Um, all right, we have Taekwon Crow. Looks like we have a few Imaginators coming up here. We have Wolfgang. And we also have Dr. Cortex. So yeah, for those of you who weren't here in the beginning, uh, please bear with me. Like this is a large box. I'm going to run out of room to, to place everything. It, it, it's just going to be a mess by the time we're done. Um, so I'm doing my best to try to keep things in order, but that also means a lot of things are off camera and I'm going to have to do some reaching and rearranging as we go along. But here we go. All right. We got another bag of figures. And actually, ooh, nice. Eon's Elite Boomer. And actually, this whole bag may be Eon's Elite Slam Bam. So unfortunately, these aren't in cases, obviously. But still, the Eon's Elite figures look decent. Eon's Elite Zook there. Shooting a giant pineapple out of his bazooka. <laughs> uh, Lax Repos, is any of this going to be for sale? Yes. Um, the majority of this will actually be for sale. Um, I know basically what should be in here. I, I have to double check everything. There are some pieces that I need or want for my collection that I, I will be keeping. Um, We'll figure that out eventually. Um, but yeah, if you guys see stuff you want, I mean, obviously feel free, feel free to comment about it in the comments. Um, I, I can't guarantee that I will see that or remember all that. Um, but if there is something you want, make a note of it and like send me a list in a DM on Twitter uh, when we're done here and, and we can maybe work something out. Um, so continuing here with our Eon's Elite figures, we have Eon's Elite Voodooed with his wicked sword axe thing. I, I never quite understood what this is. I mean, it's supposed to be like an action shot, I think, but like, it just looks like a really, really awkward weapon there. Uh, we also have Eon's Elite Whirlwind. I always think just the, the shine on the paint on this looks so good. It, it reminds me of what they did with uh, Polar Whirlwind, but made it with her regular version. All right. So we also have Eon's Elite Eruptor. I think that's one of his better looking figures. And following up with Eon's Elite Stealth Elf. They're all so shiny. Like I haven't actually seen all these out of the box. The the collection that I had, I had them in box and I didn't actually take them out. So uh, we have Eon's Elite Terrafin. 
So Skylanders Enjoyer, this is one I'm not actually going to be revealing the price I paid. Um, like I said, this is a private deal, a private collection that I purchased. Uh, so I, I'm going to be keeping some of those details private. But um, yeah. Uh, Eon's Elite Dino Rang. Looking good there with the three-pronged boomerangs. And the last Eon's Elite figure we have here. Ghost Roaster. Given a few of these guys, their 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 second uh, pose, removing them from the uh, um, forgotten eight status. All right, and I'll show you guys this one too. Th this is one of two items that I knew going into the deal was damaged. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate, but we do have Gold Rusher, but the back spokes did break off. Like, th they're there, they can e easily be glued back on if you want, um, but it is broken. This is one I knew about going into the deal, so I'm not really upset, or well, I am a little bit upset because it would be nice to have this intact, um, but... I knew about it, so they were upfront about it. It's all good. All right. Got some more paper towels in there for packing material. Like I said, I love that they, they tried to fill up the space. All right. Got some more loose figures in here, so we'll see what we can do. Got some more superchargers. Sharkshooter Terrafin. We got oh, one of everybody's favorites, Splat, who I'm telling you, still smells like I've heard bubble gum, I've heard cotton candy, but it, there is definitely some scent that has been added to this figure. I can't explain it. And we have a variant, uh, Love Potion Pop Fizz. I believe, I believe, I believe. Um, Airship, uh, was that every Eon's Elite? That was, I want, I don't think it was quite all of them. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that was nine of them. So yeah, it wasn't quite all of them, but it was a lot of them. Uh, wh where do I sell them, Vangelis? Um, right now, I don't sell them anywhere in particular. That's why I said if you, if you are interested in something, um, reach out to me privately. I'm, I'm working on revamping the Skylanders website, and I will be listing them up for sale there eventually. I hope to have that done before the end of the month, hopefully in the next week or two, but it's a, it's a big project. <laughs> John, 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 come on, buddy. Yes, if you are wondering about the differences between the four Double Trouble figures, go watch today's video. Figure focus on Double Trouble. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, that Ghost Roaster is amazing. <laughs> An elite jackpot. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that is. <laughs> All right. Hey, Oscar. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm just doing a little unboxing here or maybe the biggest unboxing that i've ever done but we have the shield striker going through some more superchargers here we have a variant dark spitfire not the original but the dark version we have the ever common stealth elf uh what, what would this be super shot stealth elf i always get confused between Super Shot Stealth Elf and Sure Shot Shroom Boom. Who would have thought? Yeah, but I think I got it right. Um, and another variant with Legendary Bone Bash Roller Brawl. Looking good there with that little pink eye. I love that little touch that they left there. Little pink eye. All right, grab some more figures. Uh, the, another legendary variant, legendary Astro Blast. 
Man, a couple of variants here. Um, Mistletoe Dive Clops, the Christmas variant for that year. We have the Deadly Sunrunner. Never did find out if I could take this thing through airport security or not, but that was always the question on everybody's mind. And then we have Nitro Stealth Stinger. This was a uh, Stealth Elf's vehicle, but the Nitro version, that was a Target exclusive. All right. Next up, we have Nightmare. So we already had Midnight Museum. We have Nightmare. So that bodes well that there will probably be a uh, dark trap in here somewhere. <laughs> I I thought about that as I was saying it. Yeah. Pink eye. Okay. Top three vehicles, eh? <laughs> you, you haven't gotten that till now? Yeah, yeah. Mistletoe. Yes. The, the the Christmas puns, man. They do what they can. All right. We have Dr. Crankcase. Just beat him in the live stream the other day in our Trap Team playthrough. Uh, to go along with Dive Clops, we have the Dive Bomber. His original version, not the variant version. And back to Imaginators. We have Flare Wolf. All right. I think we can grab another bag of them here and some more paper towels. All right, here we go. Uh, this bag seems to be mostly trap team. We have Gusto. Uh, I need to find a better place to put these figures. We have Gear Shift. Have another female character in Head Rush. I'm always surprised when these survive shipping, especially in a large lot like this, because these horns, I've seen them break off way too many times. All right, we have Enigma. I always like to see him. He is one of my favorites, and I know he was late to come out. A lot of people wanted him. Uh, we got a core figure in Flipwreck. If you've been watching my live streams, I've been playing a lot of him as well. Uh, Lax Repos, honestly, I don't know how long the live stream will be. It'll be until I get everything unboxed. Um, my other other um live streams for unboxings have been about a little under an hour i'm expecting this one will probably be at least at the hour mark just given the size of it um to go along with Flipwreck, we have high five another of the fan created characters we also have frino or hog wild frino from trap team his series two uh figure have blades nice dragon figure there from trap team new character and we have funny bone this is definitely the trap team bag a couple more trap masters with bushwhack Uh, the other magic trap master, Blaster Mind. Could have used him yesterday in the stream. Everybody watching me struggle with those lock puzzles. Uh, we also have Deja Vu and Chopper. Two more core characters from Trap Team. The last one in this bag is, of course, the most common Trap Team figure in food fights all right go back to the box for some more uh, 
grab another big bag of them here. Uh, this one, these are actually kind of themed. I kind of I like this. <laughs> yes, is not cheating, Akasha. Thank you. Uh, we have the Dark Barrel Blaster. So this was Donkey Kong's, or yeah, Donkey Kong's vehicle. It's a DK right on there. Um, that I believe can still only be used on Nintendo systems, but... Uh, one of my favorite vehicles, the Thump Truck. This unfortunately belonged to Smash Hit, who is not one of my favorite figures, but his vehicle is, I think, is just one of the best vehicles out there. All right, we already had the regular Sunrunner. We now have the legendary Sunrunner. I guess it makes sense because we had legendary Astro Blast already, so that should have been expected as well. Uh, we also have the Dark Hot Streak to go along with the Dark Spitfire. We have the Tomb Buggy to go along with the uh, Roller Brawl. Oh, well, we have Legendary Roller Brawl, although she didn't have a Legendary Vehicle, so I'll have to check that. Uh, we have the Standard Stealth Stinger. We already had the Nitro version of this. We have the jet stream. This is a uh, Jetvax vehicle, which we did. No, we didn't have his superchargers version. We had the trap team version of him. Yet. So we'll see if we get that. Have the uh, sky slicer. There we go. Sky slicer. We got the Reef Ripper, Gilgrunt's vehicle. I like cheese too. Uh, we have the Soda Skimmer. Soda Skimmer here. As well as the Splatter Splasher. Splat's vehicle. We had her earlier. Oh, and this is a nice one. We have the event exclusive hot streak. This is the one that was given away at E3 and the uh, at basically every convention that year. Instead of changing up which figures they gave out, uh, they they handed out the we just call, ended up calling it the event exclusive. That, that's actually what the box said that year, I believe, was event exclusive. Um, and oddly enough, this was an in-game variant then. That was something different that they hadn't done before with uh, trade show exclusives. They've never made them in-game, but uh, that year they, they did. And then after we get the dark version and the event exclusive, we have the, the standard version as well. That's no surprise. We have the Shark Tank. This might be my favorite vehicle of all, the Sea Shadow. I can't tell you exactly why. I just, I, I, I really like the Sea Shadow. It, it's a good vehicle. We also have the Burn Cycle for Eruptor. And one more in this bag, we have the Crypt Crusher for Mr. Fiesta, who we have not seen a lot of those drivers yet. So I don't recall if all the pairs are in this lot or not. But yeah, it, we do have a lot of them. Um, is the Wii port of Supercharger completely different game? I believe... Yeah, yeah, there we go. It's just racing like on 3DS. By that point, they had to give up on the, the core game and they had to move to just just racing on that one. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's 
like most of these are in in plastic bags now. Um, they are overflowing a little bit, so there's a few loose ones yet, but we'll get them out eventually. Got some Imaginators here. We have Buckshot. So this will be a good bag here with a lot of newer figures in it. And yeah, I... Hmm. After this bag, I might have to rearrange and move my box. So please give me a moment. Uh, we got Chop Scotch. We have ooh, a variant Solar Flare Aurora. This was the Target exclusive that year. Uh, we saw Dr. Cortex before, and here's our buddy Crash Bandicoot joining the Skylanders gang. One of my favorites, Chain Reaction. Don't see this guy out too much, but yeah, I, I he he was a fun figure to play with. That's for sure. Um, got a few more figures here with Ember. Unfortunately, the the soft, pliable material they use for the weapons this year it likes to droop a lot. That was unfortunate. All right, uh, we had the variant version already, but now we have the regular version of Aurora. But once again, like I said, this material just did not hold up. It, uh, it, they always bend like this, either up or down. Like they get bent really easily and then just kind of stay there. I'll have to see if I can bend that around a little bit, but it's it's just something that happens with these figures. Uh, we have Barbella. going on a run of the female characters there including boom bloom I suppose that should have been expected with um the enchanted elven forest we opened very early on we have airstrike he was a little fun one to play i i i, I like this this combo because it, it was like two characters in one really you had both, both, uh, I were they actually named Air and Strike and they're Air Strike together? Is that how that one went? And Ambush is the last one in that bag. All right, Akasha, thanks for stopping by. Is there a good way to make them straight? Um, I, I like I said, I, you might be able to apply a little bit of heat to them and try to straighten them out. Chances are, though, over time, I mean, th they're all just going to start drooping a little bit. Um, Gravity is going to get the best of them, and and there's not a lot you can do about it. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna put this on mute so I don't knock this microphone around too much. I need to move the box to give myself more room to unload stuff. So hold on just a minute. All right, I think we should be able to work with this now. Now I have more table space to put the figures on and I can just unload them from here. All right, uh, moving to some older figures, we have Giants Ninjini. We have the legendary bouncer. We have. Uh, we were just talking about this guy. Uh, I forget. Wait, maybe it was on the last stream. Granite Crusher. Yeah, I I, I really like the the look of this guy with the black and blue there. So that'll be a nice addition. 
And once again, for anybody who hasn't seen today's figure focus video, we have double trouble. And which one is this, folks? Which double trouble is this? Have you watched the video yet? Or do you just know your Skylanders well enough? Which double trouble? You have four options. In the meantime, we have Tree Rex. We have Thumpback. Yes, yes, you are all right. This is, in fact, Series 1.5 Double Trouble. If you don't understand what I mean by 1.5, go check out today's video. It's short, um, and uh, it, it'll explain it all for you. All right. Grab the rest of this bag. It looks like to be all giants in this bag. So we have Swarm. We have Hothead. Got our Series 1 Jetvac. Series 1 Fright Rider. Not that he had another series, but he's there. Got Eyebrawl. One of these smaller giants. We have a flash wing. Got series two wrecking ball. I've reported on him as well in uh, figure folks a few weeks ago. Uh, we have igniter series two. An intact light core hex, two arms, one head, or two heads if you count the skull, but all the pieces are there. Don't see this every day. Usually in, in shipping a large lot like this, something would have broken off here. But it's good to see that's all intact. All right, we had granite. Now we have the standard version of Crusher. We have the standard version of Bouncer as well to go along with the Legendary. Have Series 2 Drill Sergeant. And this looks like the Light Core Drobot. So I know the other day we were able to find a Series 2 Drobot, but this would be the Light Core version then. All right. Looks like it's time to move into some swappers. So we have a spy rise. It looks like some of these may have fallen. Oh, no, these all go together. Okay. Um, we have Nitro Magna Charge. Once again, the Nitro versions were the target exclusives. And then we have Rattleshake. One of my favorite swappers. Actually, probably my favorite swapper, I would say. All right, and then we'll pull up the rest of the swap force bag here. We have a variant right off the bat with Volcanic Eruptor. This was a unique one. This was the, I believe this was a 3DS starter pack variant. Um, for those that don't know, most of the 3DS starter packs did come with some variant. Or maybe all? Did they all? Well, th there's some debate on that. Uh, I can talk about that another day. But yeah, this was a 3DS starter pack variant. Uh, we have a mix-up here, so hopefully the other pieces are in here somewhere. Uh, we have the bottom half of Stink Bomb with the top half of Dark Blast Zone. Actually, no. No, I may have known about this one. Th this may be just a half and half uh, left over. We couldn't find. Uh, so we'll, we'll double check that, but that's there for now. We do have Boom Jet. And a Rubble Rouser. And Light Core War NATO. The Legendary Night Shift, Toys R Us exclusive, of course. All of the Legendary figures were. 
Of course, we have a washbuckler. He's going to be there. It's hard to get the game without the figure. All right, we have two top halves here. Trap, uh, tr yeah, Trap Shadow and Fire Kraken. So we'll find their bottoms, hopefully. Um, top half of Blast Zone. All right, there's the bottom half. Trap Shadow. We have a Hoot Loop. We have a Doomstone. One of uh, the last swapper to be released, I believe. The initial appearance of Roller Brawl. This figure always seems so small to me. I forget how small it is. Um, here we go with interesting. The full Fire Kraken. So I do have an extra top half of Fire Kraken. That'll be interesting to find out if there's a, just a second figure in here or what's going on. All right. We got some bottom halves. Here. Well, we got Freeze Blade first. And empty this bag quick. Uh, we got our Stealth Elf starter pack figure there. We got a Bumble Blast, which... Man, you guys are going to have to help me again. I think this is Light Core. Because I think this lights up over here. But I could be wrong, because I'm really bad at that. And Free, free Ranger. There we go. Oh, and that means we also have Blast Zone. So we got our starter pack figures, all three of them. So yeah, we still, after going through that, we have these three pieces that are half and half yet. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, uh, moving back to, well, we got Gnarly Barkley, the variant mini from Trap Team. Um, if you remember, there was a Gnarly Tree Rex back in Giants, and then they, they made the re recurring variant here for Gnarly Barkley. We have a Stormblade. Good figure there. Uh, of course, we're going to have a Spitfire, just a standard one. Yeah, I know those are odd three pieces to be left over, but may maybe we'll find half, half and half somewhere. Um, we have one of these Sky Mebo figures. Donkey Kong, turbocharged, dark, dark turbocharged Donkey Kong. So the variant of the figure, we had his vehicle before. Um, and if you remember, these are the ones that have the base on the bottom that shift. So you can, like, now it's an Amiibo. Now it's a Skylander. Now it's Amiibo. Now it's Skylander. Hey, what do you know? All right. Uh, we also have the standard version of the Clown Cruiser, which would be Bowser's vehicle, the other Nintendo crossover. So we'll see if we got him in here somewhere. All right. We have a variant excited thrillipede. Uh, this was their Easter variant this year. Um, unfortunately, the standard version is a lot harder to come by. But the holiday version is pretty easy to come by. We have legendary, legendary hurricane jet back. There we go. Hurricane. That was that one. Uh, we have a big bubble pop fizz. Not the birthday version, but the regular version. And to go along with that unfortunately broken vehicle I showed you before, we do have Double Dare Trigger Happy. So that was a nice one there. 
nice pair of them. I showed you the variant before with steel plated. We do have a regular smash hit as well. Oh, and this is <laughs> the variant I was talking about. Uh, here is Big Bubble. Uh, Birthday Bash Big Bubble Pop Fizz. One of the worst names out there. Like, really? Did you, did you really need all of those names for this figure? All right, we have Bone Bash Roller Brawl in all of the pink, not just the pink eye. We have the Dark Stealth Elf, or Dark Super Shot Stealth Elf. We have Gilgrunt, Deep Dive Gilgrunt. His fifth appearance in five games. Ooh, and then we have Nightfall. This is one of my favorite figures too. Like I, I, I just love how this all blends together. What is like the hair blends into the base, and it just it, it's all so slick. This is one of my favorite figures. The character was so so in game. But the figure looks absolutely amazing. All right, we'll pull these two out together. We have Fiesta and Frightful Fiesta, our Halloween variants during Superchargers. We have Dive Clops, the original version. All right, a few more superchargers here. We have Hurricane Jetback, the standard. We have Lava Lance Eruptor. So it looks like we are matching up with all the vehicles we got. And then we do have Bowser, Hammer Slam Bowser. He is the, the other, uh, I'm an amiibo, I'm a Skylander, I'm an amiibo, I'm a Skylander. Okay. So we don't have the dark version. We, we have the dark version of Donkey Kong and the Barrel Blaster, but the standard version of Bowser and his vehicle, uh, the Clown Cruiser. All right, a couple more fell out of the box here. Uh, we have Crypt King, and we have Nitro Soda Skimmer. So once again, Target variant, Target exclusive variant. Looks like we have three, no, four, four more bags in there. So we're we're a good chunk of the way through this, but we are also 43 minutes into the stream. So thank you for hanging out with me and thank you for checking this out. There, I I know that there's still some good stuff coming. Um, we have Wildfire. This is not one of my favorites. <laughs> If you've watched any of my streams lately, you, you, you've heard me go off on Wildfire a little bit. Uh, we have Legendary Jawbreaker. Wallop. Wallop is a fantastic character. Lots of power. Easy to play. We have the Snapshot, of course. Starter pack, he's going to be there. Going to start putting some of these back in the box because I have some room now. Uh, we have Tough Luck. Great looking figure there. We got Lobstar. One, another one of my favorites to play in the game. Actually, along with my other favorite, Shortcut. Shortcut is the best. We also have Thunderbolt and Torch. Core figure from Trap Team. And then we have 
this is the other casualty that I knew about. Um, there, there were going into this. I knew there were going to be uh, two figures that had some damage. One of them was the Gold Rusher. The other one is, unfortunately, as well. Uh, Nightlight has lost his sword, and this one, well. Actually, I think could also be pretty easily repaired. Like, I, I have to figure out exactly how that lines up in, in there. But all the, like I said, I knew about it. All the pieces are there. So it's not the worst thing. Um, at least this wasn't a surprise to me. That that's That's what I always say. It's like, as long as people are upfront about it, like, that helps a lot. So those were the two two damage figures I knew about. They were going to be there. But, I mean, just look at all this other stuff. All this other stuff that I'm getting. But yes, Joel, um, a a as Airship was saying, I, 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 I will be selling a bunch of these figures. I'm setting up a storefront on the site. Um, if, if, you, if you're interested in any of these figures that you see, send me a DM on Twitter and... and and we'll get this set up. Uh, I'll, we'll see if we can make a deal. But otherwise, in the next week or two, I should have the the storefront on the site done. And uh, it'll be easier for all of us that way. Um, but if we just can't wait, I'm, I'm willing to make deals behind the scenes. All right. Um, yeah, let's go here first, I guess. I, I don't know. Got three. Oh, there's, wait a minute. There's a small bag here. Okay, let's take this small bag first. Um, no, we haven't gotten a sun scraper yet. We, we had the had nightmare in the night museum, but not a sun scraper. All right, so in this bag, we just have two Spyro's Adventure figures, a Sonic Boom and a Prison Break. So you, you can tell. I think these folks got into. Skylanders a little bit later and so they got a lot of the later game stuff but that's that's the stuff that's harder to find nowadays too like Spire's Bench is pretty easy to find alright so this bag here is all collection or creation crystals so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go through them pretty quickly here but uh, we have the Air Lantern creation crystal we have the legendary life acorn. Um, so, the, I mean, these creation crystals, I'm assuming most of them are probably used right now. But if most, if you know me, I have a way to reset these creation crystals. Um, so I will be doing that before I sell any of them. Some of them, once again, I will probably be keeping for my collection, but I will be selling a lot of them. Um, we have the air angel have the magic lantern the light fanged creation crystal all right sorry th that was the legendary light fanged creation crystal because this is the light fanged creation crystal uh the undead fanged we have the undead claw The fire reactor, the uh, earth armor. Got to remember what we named these things. <laughs> uh, water rocket, uh, this collection. I'm, I'm, I'm I mean. Of the newer stuff, it's probably 90% complete of at least like standard figures. Um, like it, it doesn't have all the variants. We, we actually, th there are more variants in here than I remembered already. Uh, but yes, Jack, I'm glad you you appreciate the, the website. Um, depends what you call huge. Chat, if you shout out what you think the best find was so far. What was your favorite piece we found so far? 
help catch Mr. Boo up. Uh, we have the Life Acorn and the Magic Pyramid. And the third and final Legendary Magic Lantern. There we go. So that was the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 creation crystals. Oh, yeah, there was an E3, E3 hot streak. Yep. That, that was probably one of the biggest. Yep. Mid Midnight Museum was in there, too. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's have some fun. Um, I'm going to transfer these from bag to bag. This is our bag of traps. So we have a water tiki. We have a water jug head. Have the fire totem. We have a water angel. Have a water axe. That is starting to lose some color there. Have the undead skull. We have an earth hourglass. Kitty, uh, this is if, if you if you're joining us late. This is a collection I brought. I, I bought uh, privately. Um, a, a Skylanders fan contacted me and they wanted to sell. Um, so I made them an offer and we made a deal. So that th this isn't something that was available publicly. This is something, a, a deal I made privately. Uh, we have the earth. Uh, what do we end up? This is the earth handstand earth handstand. I know for a while we had a different name we were using, but that that's not the official name. Um, we have the undead axe. Got our life hammer there. The other starter pack one, of course, it's going to be in there. Got an earth toucan. It's one of the better molds, if you ask me. We have an air screamer. Ooh, this might be the best mold, in my opinion. The sword. No, actually, no. This is the second best. But we have a life sword. We have a magic skull. Ooh, we have a dark sword. That's a nice one there. Now, this is my absolute favorite mold. The life snake. That snake is so good. And that's why it bothers me why some of the other ones are just kind of plain. I'm like, life hammer, just the, it's it, it's a rectangle. And then we get this beauty like this, the, the life snake. Uh, I, I could look at this all day. That's awesome. All right. We have an air jug head. We have the... Magic Hourglass. We have the Undead Hand. And a Chaos Trap. Just the standard version, not the ultimate Chaos Trap that was in the Dark Edition, just the standard one. Have a Water Flying Helmet. Thanks for joining, Kitty. I, I, I understand it's late. All right, we have the Life Toucan. Uh, th this is one of a few of them. I'm going to have to check and see if they're the variant versions or not. I don't know that offhand. Um, the Magic Log Holder. The Water Log Holder. This could be another variant with uh, Outlaw Brawl and Chain. Uh, we got the Tech Angel. 
Got the Life Torch. Could also be a variant, I believe. Magic Anteater, we are doing giveaway eventually. Uh, not right now with... Uh, we're not doing it during this stream here, but a lot of this stuff has it might potentially be used for giveaways we'll we'll, we'll, we'll say that um we have a tech scepter trap shocks welcome to the trap uh, welcome to the chat yeah the hand mold is a pretty good one too oh here we got the light owl which is interesting so we've had we have the dark tower, but not the light tower. I wonder if it's still in there. Maybe, maybe we'll find out. Um, but yeah, we have the light trap. So maybe. Um, we have the fire torch. And there it is. That's what I was expecting. The dark spider, because we have Midnight Museum and Nightmare. So we have the complete dark expansion set. We have... Night Light, who is broken, and the Light Trap, but not the Spire. So, we'll find out. Um, Air Toucan. This one's losing a little bit of color, too, but still, it's the Air one. Uh, we have the Magic Axe. Got a few more traps here. We have the Earth Orb. Got the Tech Flying Helmet. We have the Magic Rocket. We got the Fire Screamer. We have the Tech Hand. Here's that nice hand mold again. Have the Undead Orb. We got the Fire Captain's Hat. I, I hate the name of that trap, but there you go. Fire Captain's Hat. And the last trap we have is the Air Hourglass. Also seems to be losing some color. But those are all the traps. I will put a note out there. A lot of the traps, probably 60% of them, are going to end up in my collection because I don't have all of them yet. But there are a good chunk of them that I do have that will be for sale, that will be uh, repurposed or you know, either for sale or giveaways or whatever. Like, We'll get it sorted out. All right. We have, looks like, one bag left here. And this may be the money bag. Uh, right on top here, we have Peñata. Imaginators, Peñata. Such a pretty figure. We have Chaos. So that means we have two Chaos figures. Hmm, what could we do with that? We have... Bad Juju. We have... Starcast. One of the best figures in the game. We have... Mysticat. Fantastic, fantastic. We have a tri-tip. We have a pit boss. Naturally, we have Kingpen. Although I haven't seen a golden queen yet. That's... 
That's kind of odd, isn't it? We have Kingpin and like all these other Imaginators, but not a Golden Queen. Weird. All right, we are down to two figures. We have Hoodsicle. Another one of my favorite figures. I've loved Hoodsicle ever since Trap Team. So glad they made a bigger figure of him. It's awesome. Uh, Mystic Cat, I believe, is female. If anybody wants to correct me on that, go ahead. I think, I think Mystic Cat is female. Magic Anteater, yes, we, we had a bag before of 14 creation crystals. And, all right, the last figure in this lot of 30 pounds of Skylanders. Here he is. Dun, 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 dun. The original Chompy Mage. That's right. Not Jingle Bell Chompy Mage, not the variant figure, but we do have indeed a Chompy Mage. So, that's pretty awesome. Mr. Cat is male. Okay, I was wrong. There you go. Thank you for the correction on that. It's been a long while since I played with him. I don't remember all of them, but thank you for correcting that. But yeah, got a chompy mage. So, um, I mean, that's on top of Hoodsicle and Starcast and Chaos and Peñata. Like, that, that, that tells you something about these, these folks. The, 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 the people I bought this from, they were collectors. They loved the game. And it, 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 they, they struggled whether or not to, to give up this lot. But the offer I made them was enough to sway them. And uh, yeah, so this, this is it. I, th there we go. We're right about that hour mark, right where I thought we'd be. Um, but yeah, that is the lot. That is the unboxing. That is everything that I was able to get in 30 pounds of Skylanders. That's what 30 pounds of Skylanders looks like. That That's what 30 pounds of Skylanders will get you. Um, a lot of Imaginator stuff, a lot of Supercharger stuff, a lot of Trap Team stuff. Um, and still some stuff from the first three games too not a lot but i i mean i have a lot of the the early stuff that that's just pretty easy to find so this was this was great to see um but yeah i i mean that's the other thing i promised them is we're, we're, we're gonna get a um we're, we're gonna find good homes for these figures whether that's in my own collection or if that is uh, through giveaways, or if it is selling these figures to you guys, so we we will fi find homes for these figures. We will do good things with these figures. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if you guys are interested in any of the figures you've seen here, you can. <laughs> Mick, the, the, the best part, yes. The best part was right here. Right here in Chompy Mage. Um, but yeah, you, you, go watch the replay. It, it, it's fantastic all the way through. I, I, this was such a great lot. I, I, I couldn't turn it down. I couldn't say no. Um, once they sent me the list of, of what was in here, I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I, I need to get my hands on this. So... Um, if you are interested in any of the things you saw here, feel free to find me on Twitter, send me a DM, let me know what you're interested in. We can probably make some kind of deal. Um, if you're okay waiting a week or two, um, like I said, I, I'm setting up the storefront, storefront on the skylanderscharacterlist.com website, and the majority of these figures are going to be available for sale there. And once again, like... I'm not trying to rip you off. It, I mean, I still have to run a business because I spent a fair chunk of change on these figures. Like I said, this is the biggest lot I've ever bought. 
Um, but at the same time, I'm going to try my darndest to get these figures out to you guys at a, a reasonable price, or at least try to somewhat undercut, you know, eBay prices. Like <laughs> some of those are ridiculous and, and we don't need people paying those, but, um, I do need to, you know, at least get my money back and, um, I, I mean, got to cover shipping and things like that, but past that, it, 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 like, I, I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to um, help you guys find the figures you want, help you guys uh, get them at decent prices, help you guys complete your collections or start your collections, whatever uh, stage you may be at. So... <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, I, I, I am an entrepreneur through and through. That, that, that's, that's who I am. But I'm an, also an entrepreneur that loves Skylanders. So uh, we will work together on this and figure things out. And um, hopefully we can help each other. That, that's what I would love to do. I mean, I, I don't know a lot of people who would want to just buy a lot this large. You probably already have half the figures. So you, you don't want to buy the entire thing, but that's why I'm buying the large lot and breaking it up. And so, uh, <laughs> Mr. Boo, yes, the, <laughs> the giant cheese behind me. Um, if you don't know, I live in Wisconsin. If you are international, you may not know. I'm a fan of the Green Bay Packers, and we are affectionately known as Cheeseheads. It, it, it's partly because Wisconsin is this dairy state. It, th th there's a longer story behind it, but it's a name we've taken on over the past decades. We, decades we've been known as cheeseheads. Um, and this is the attire that we wear to our home games. Actually, all our games. Um, so yes, that is my love of the, of the Green Bay Packers. So that that that's exactly what that is, but... Um, I, <laughs> I can try to post pictures on Twitter. Um, I, I, I do have to go through. That's interesting. Most people I meet tell me I have a very thick Wisconsin accent. So I'm, in, I'm curious to know what you think Wisconsin accent is. Um, but yeah, I, I, I will, uh, go through. I have to make sure they all work. I will reset all the figures, uh, reset the creation crystals. I don't reset traps because, they, well, one, it's really kind of a pain. It doesn't it doesn't work as neatly as resetting creation crystals does. Um, so I will I will have to work on that. But I I will after I I make sure everything works properly. I will try to take some pictures. Um, but we'll see we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yes it, it, it's that a sound that is built into the wisconsin accent but the, i mean you didn't you, you didn't you hear me before all of these skylanders you know were, were stored in bags so um it it is what it is but it, it's it's a giant lot and even right now like i have some filling up a, uh, uh, like, what is this? A uh, three foot by three foot card table. Uh, th they're stretching across my desk and back into the box that I pulled them out of. So it, it's really hard to actually get them all in one picture. Probably I, I could give you all of them in one picture, but it, <laughs> it's going to be hard to see any individual. Um, I, I forget what the exact number is. I know it, is will it, it is over 200 pieces i i know i counted that before i bought it uh i think it i think it's something real close to like 202 or, two, or 204 or something like that but it but it's a lot um so yeah it, it's it's a big lot uh like i said 14 uh creation crystals um i'm gonna check my list here i think is one two or wait here i can do some math 
34. I, I think it's thir- no, four, 40 traps. Is that right? Okay, that seems like too many. Just a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 40 traps. That was a lot of traps. Wow. Um, so, yeah, we got traps, superchargers, imaginators. I mean, the imaginators were were great. I thought, like, that, I, I think that was the cream of the crop when we got Chompy Mage and Hood Sickle and Chaos and Pinata. Oh, and StarCast. Don't forget about StarCast. I mean, even Bad Juju is pretty good. So, I mean, a lot, a lot of Imaginators there. Um, we got Dark and Light Traps. Actually, two two Dark Traps and a Light Trap. Um, and a Midnight, Midnight Museum. We got a few of the... Er, real early on, if you did, if you weren't here, um, we, we did get a number of the level pieces. We got... Uh, Griffin Park Observatory. We got the Enchanted Elven Forest. Uh, we got Nightmare Express and Mirror of Mystery and the Midnight Museum. And then we just got one trophy. We got the C, yeah, the C trophy. So we didn't get the land or air trophies, but we got the C trophy. So that, that was a good chunk there. Um, a lot of variants that I was I, I forgot were in there. A lot of uh, seasonal variants, a lot of store exclusives. We got most, not quite all, but most of the Nitro and a lot of legendary figures. So that was nice. Oh, the Eons Elite. That was early on. I totally forgot about that. We, we, we got nine Eons Elite figures. and They, they weren't in the boxes anymore. They, like they're loose. Like, I mean... Here, here's the ghost roaster. Um, but, but we got nine eons elite figures. So, th- so that was a nice, nice touch too. Um, so yeah, we, we never did find the other halves. So we, we had a full fire Kraken figure. We have one and a half fire Krakens. I, th- that just seems really odd to me. Um, and then we also have the bottom half of stink bomb and the top half of dark, blast zone i didn't have other dark trap team figures like there was no or, or, or swap force swap force there, there wasn't a dark spyro there was not a dark wash buckler like the, the, this is really odd that this is the only dark swap force piece that we have so i'm not entirely sure what that's about um but yeah that then the only like, like the biggest disappointments everything survived shipping that 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 was great uh, i mean 30 pound box huge box tons of figures you know they basically filled up the whole box but they all survived shipping which was amazing the, there the two casualties that were in there were ones i already knew about um like they they told me about and sent me pictures ahead of time so I knew we were going to have Nightlight. His sword is broken off, but we have all the pieces. If, if we want to put it back together, we can. Um, so, I mean, like this, this isn't going to go be listed on the site. If anybody's interested in this broken Nightlight, let me know. I, I, I can let that go for pretty cheap. Um, I'm not going to sell that. And then um, the, the other one was the Gold Rusher with the, the back tailpipes broken off um once again the piece is there so it could easily be reattached glued back on if you want um and we do have double dare trigger have to go along with it so like if anybody's interested in this lot i I, i'd still have to charge a decent price for it especially uh given how rare it is right now and how how highly in demand it is um but it would definitely be at a discounted price compared to other things because it is broken. Um, 
So if that's something you're interested in, please let me know. But yeah, otherwise, like I said, it, it, most of the figures here will be for sale at some point. Um, yeah, even the Hex survived. The Light Core Hex survived. So we, we got a lot of things going on. Yeah, and the, missing the other two trophies is a surprise. No Spire. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Richard, um, talk to me. Yeah, I, 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 I will say I already have a Chompy Mage for my collection. So this one, uh, we're we're I, I'm I'm bouncing between. Do I sell this or do I use this for a giveaway? So. We'll see where it goes. Um, I I'm, I'm not entirely sure what to do with that one yet. Um, we talked about we're working on our four thousand watch hours. We already have earmarked this guy for a giveaway. Um, that was the first chaos that we got. We did get a second one today. So if you if you don't want to wait for a giveaway, then uh, I mean. This guy's probably for sale or maybe a second giveaway. I, I I don't know what we're doing yet as far as giveaways go. Um, you'll give me an offer I can't refuse. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good at refusing offers. But yeah, that that is all kind of up in the air at this point where, where these things go. Um. So how close are we to 4,000? Uh, we should be hitting 2,000 this week. Last I checked, we were we were over 1,800. Uh, actually, no, we, we should be about 19 or high. I don't know if I checked it today. We might be close to 1,900 right now. So... Yeah, yeah. If this many viewers came to a level up stream, th th this has been my most popular stream yet. So it, it, it's been good to see, and it, it went on for an hour, and we we had a lot of people the entire time. So even this stream right here will will add up, you know, thirty forty hours by itself. So that's gonna be great. But yeah, we're we're getting there. Um, I did, did mention that at the end of my last stream that. I am planning a, what do I call it? A su super streaming Skylander Saturday. I keep, I, I keep switching the words around. Um, but on the 22nd of May, I'm going to be streaming like all day, basically. Eight hours, 12 hours, something like that. Uh, and I will have a few giveaways that you can unlock that day be for completing various goals along the way, let's say. Um, and so some of these figures will be for those giveaways. Some of, uh, I mean, some of them might be a little more common figures depending on, on the goals that we hit, but some could rank up to some of these more expensive, more rare figures. So uh, keep an eye out. We we got some stuff going on. <laughs> Skyathon, yes, that something like that. We we'll, we'll have to figure out a name, especially if I'm going to be doing them regularly. But yeah, that is the unboxing. We did it. That is all the figures I got today. A um, lot of stuff going on, but. Like I said, if if you have interest, get in contact with me. Otherwise, you can wait for the website to update, and uh, we'll go about it that way. But if you don't have hey, anybody have any more questions right now, I I I got some time. If you got any questions? <laughs> I, 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 otherwise, it's probably about time that I start testing some figures. Like I. It's gonna take me. It's gonna take me another hour or two just to go through the game and uh, uh, make sure all these figures still work. 
I mean, they should be. They, they they look in great condition right now. They they were shipped well. They were stored well. Uh, that one cookie, it's it, it's going to be on my Skylanders site, skylanderscharacterlist.com. I'm going to be opening up a storefront over there. So you can, uh, yes, it, it, it is in the, dis- in the uh, description. How much I'll sell the Giants for? Um, I, I don't know offhand. I need to do some research. But that, that that that's that's one of the last pieces that needs to come together is to finalize some of my research. Like I know about where some pieces are. Um, if I had to get the the giants, I would say are not super hard to find, and for pieces that I consider not super hard to find, uh. They should be no more than retail price, but I will try to keep them under retail price. So if that gives you some idea. Um, so like Trap Masters re- or, or Giants retailed for $15. I would try to probably get them to. I I think most of them can go for 10 or less each. Um probably between five and ten dollars depending on which one we're talking about um i mean I, even within the giants some are more common than others i mean okay tree rex i'm assuming you don't need tree rex but if you did tree rex is going to be like two bucks because they're they're all over the place but um the other figures i mean yeah somewhere between five and ten a piece probably uh, well, actually, no. Some some of those others might be under five, even. Now that I think about it, like Hothead is pretty common. Swarm, I just feel like nobody wants Swarm. Like he he's always just kind of tossed into the lots, so he he might be cheaper as well. How how much Trap Masters? Uh, Trap Masters vary a little bit more. It, like I mean, Nightlight and Nightmare are light and dark, a little bit harder to find. Um, and, and a little bit more useful in the game and there's no other figures you can uh, use for them. Enigma is is a little bit higher price as well. Um, so those might be, you know, double digits again, you know, 10 or 12, but the rest of them probably under 10 again. Um, a little bit newer figures, they'll probably go for a little bit more than Giants on, on average. But like I said, I I need to do my research to make sure, um, partly to make sure that I'm not completely overcharging. Like maybe I'm wrong and like these figures on average go for five bucks. And so, well, okay, then I'm going to charge four bucks. Um, But yeah, we'll we'll see. That's like I said, that's why I need to do my research and make sure like like I said, if they're going for five dollars and I'm charging 10, that's that's not going to make sense either. So glad to hear it. glad to hear it. uh favorite character of all time camo this little dude right up here camo is the man he's my number one love this little guy um some of my other favorites are up here too you can see we got uh i, I talked about rattle shake early on but this is a quick draw rattle shake he is far superior to standard rattle shake and uh oh he's not up there oh he's not up there because i was playing with him in the stream the other day but shortcut shortcut is fantastic as well uh tree tree rex are good for custom skylanders yeah i i i don't really do a lot of customizing but we might mess around with some of that sometime uh which figures did it get again for trap masters um they're kind of spread out a little bit but right now i can see uh bushwhack uh gusto kaboom nightmare gear shift enigma blaster mind head rush crypt king um that's the other thing i have to go through and like sort these by game so i can actually figure out what's in my inventory um uh, Oh, uh, Thunderbolt and Lobstar and Shortcut are down there too. That's Snapshot and Tough Luck. 
So yeah, that, that's probably most of them actually. I don't know if it's all of them. Yeah, the, the trap masters were kind of split up into two groups. Like some of them, I think, had fallen out. Like they didn't all fit in the bag, and so some of them fell out, and uh, I got got them either earlier or later. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I I hope to help you guys. I really do. I really do. All right. Um, yeah. So unless you guys got any more last minute questions, I'll give you a few more seconds to throw those out there. But otherwise, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to start organizing these things. I'll, I'll check my messages and see if uh, anybody has uh, requested anything on, on Twitter and such. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're interested in these, get a hold of me. Um, we, we can we can try to make something work for you otherwise yeah i'm gonna uh high volts vehicle y yeah the shield striker right high volt we didn't actually get high volt but we we did get his vehicle yeah so we didn't not all the superchargers and vehicles lined up that's a little bit disappointing too but yeah we, we we do a shield striker. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So Richard, I my personal collection. I I have every basic figure. In, in, um, I kept every the, the first appearance of every character. So I have every series one figure in my collection. Um. I used to have every standard figure and then I pared down my collection a little bit and I'm building it back up a little bit. Um, but yeah, the main thing I need is variants. Um, and yeah, that, 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 that's, that's mostly what I need out of here is some of the variants, but not even all of them. So, well, cool. Yeah. If you're interested, get a hold of me and, uh, like I said, we could probably work something out. But yeah. All right. I think I'm going to call it for now. That was a nice 90 minute stream. Thank you all for sticking with me this far. Um, yeah. I'll, I will try to get more pictures and information out there for you guys. And I, then, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to get back to working on the website so I can get that store up and, and you guys can go to town. Um, you can see what I have in stock and, uh, uh, we can all go from there. So, all right. Thank you once again for joining me. And I will see you on Thursday for our next stream. That's the plan.